Hello my friends, after 25 years living in Bali, here are some do's and don'ts when you're visiting. Suggestions really. We'll have to start with this. Don't be an asshole. It's simple, easy to remember. Now if you're wondering, you know, can you define an asshole for me, you know? If I have to define what the asshole is, you're probably one. So that's how it works. Drugs. Right to jail. Right away. Bali dogs. I'm matching the sound. Is what I'm doing helping? Well, really lovable creatures, untrainable. I mean, come here, I mean, sit down. I don't think so, mister. But they are lining up on the streets, which is really, really good. They're kind of like a police in the streets. Hey, get out of here. This is our yard. You don't belong there. Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! If you're really going fast on a bike, which you shouldn't do because there are people, you know, passing by and living there, children are playing on the streets still here, they will chase you. <laughs> uh, the trick there is to slow down, not to step on the gas because, you know, it is dangerous. Slow down, let the motherfucker lose the interest in you, and you're home free. If you are surrounded with some sort of a pack of dogs in Bali, which does happen, face them. Don't run. Face them and slowly back away. You can shout, you can do whatever, but don't attack. <coughs> you gonna give me my money? Where's my money, man? because they will too. So, usually it doesn't happen. I mean, like, this is not something that happens a lot here, in my experience. Traffic. <laughs> the first rule of Bali traffic is do not talk about Bali traffic. I mean, I'm sick of it. Everybody are just traffic, traffic, traffic. I mean, wake up earlier. You know, wake up six o'clock and, you know, get to the places earlier any place that is successful will have its share of traffic. So please, let's not talk about this. Crossing the street, on the other hand, I mean, like, look, look 360, really. Look up, down, left, right, everywhere. If you're not used to this amount of bikes, take it slow. The traffic is moving really slow, so that's a plus. It's just how it is. Uh, learning a few phrases in Indonesian language is very good because, I mean, like, you say good morning, and they're like, oh my god, you speak fluently, and you're like, oh my god, I don't, and let's go back to the hands. It's very, very cool to know a few phrases anywhere you go, really, because, I mean, people will, will respect that, you know, they're happy that you are, you know, taking your time to learn the language a little bit, so uh, do it. Don't drink tap water. Well, I, I got that advice 25 years ago and, you know, like I never tried, so maybe it's time to... Yeah, don't. Bikes, yikes. If you're a newbie, if you're not used to the amount of bikes that is existing here, don't drive one. I mean, really, there's so many, you know, apps that you can download, call a driver. Taxes are fairly cheap, so don't get us all in danger. There are parts of Bali that are absolutely traffic free where you can rent a bike and fall on your own, but uh, don't endanger us all, please. Uh, just, you know, don't practice on me, okay? And I mean, your family will benefit greatly from, well, not losing you. I heard this many times, do not touch heads of Bolognese. I mean, who the hell touches somebody's head when you meet them? I mean. Really, it's like if you touch my head just meeting me, it'd be like, it's oh, weird, man. It's like, what? Don't touch their heads. I mean, do I need to tell you that? I, I don't, I'm confused. Negotiations. If you come to my house and brag about saving a dollar and then you're drinking wine or beer that is like, you know, way more expensive, I mean, I don't think that we can be friends. Negotiate, it is part of the culture, but I mean, don't push the people too hard because I mean, they're not trying to cheat you, they're trying to survive. And majority of Bolognese is not living on a lot of money. So uh, 
That's all I'm going to say on that subject. Offerings. Uh, I heard this many, many times. Do not kick Balinese offerings. Who the hell would kick a Balinese offering on purpose? I mean, they are lying on the street. So by accident, you can kick it. I mean, it happens. Nothing will happen. Just, you know, apologize if somebody is there. Put it back and, you know, nothing bad will happen. Unless you are, you know, like Ronaldoing it across the street. I mean, but who does that? I mean, just don't kick an offering. I mean, is that really an advice? I don't know. Like everybody are talking about it. So here I am just offering some sort of common sense, I hope. Monkeys. <laughs> I don't know how many times I wished for the monkey to bite the face off of somebody. I mean, and here's why. People are taking selfies with a freaking monkey right here. Monkeys has a teeth like this. I mean, they can fuck you up. Don't touch the monkeys. Why are you slapping a monkey? Don't, I mean, don't, don't slap a monkey. Keep your cool. Uh, easier said than done, especially when I'm in the bank, you know, and the guy is like... But keeping your cool is probably a good advice. Wherever you go, I mean, if you're a foreigner in a country, you're not going to be disrespecting locals. I mean, that, they're just crazy. So, common sense. Keep your cool. Balinese are not violent, so to piss off Balinese really takes a long time. I never did. I mean, I, I lived here 25 years. I never had problems, so I wouldn't know. But I heard that they can be really, really kind of crazy when, you know, like, are pissed off. So, I have no intention of doing that ever. So. You should probably too. Now, Balinese food. It is interesting. It is great. Well, I mean, being too adventurous can lead to Bali Belly, which is, you know, you're sitting on a toilet for like uh, three days, <laughs> not being able to, uh, you know, keep anything. So um, there are places where you can go and they're tested and you know like you, you can definitely find out what are the clean places eating on the street i mean is advice i would you know it's it's experience but it can lead to a very interesting holiday i feel so um, common sense so i have to read this don't use your left hand when you're giving money or touching somebody else indonesians reserve their left hand for hygienic things Stick to the right. Now, I'm a right-hander. I have never been close enough to Balinese to ask uh, which hand do you use to wipe your ass. But I would assume if you are a right-hander, you're going to do it with the right. And if you are a left-hander, you're going to do it with the left. So right-hander Balinese has to be taught from very early on to use their left hand I, I think that the general general rule here is 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 wash your hands after the toilet